an unexpected fight between the Uganda Netball Federation President Sarawabide Chitio and her Vice President Brigadier Flavia Bikwaso ensued at the Netball Federation offices this morning as Babide staged a triumphant return to office after three months of forced leave. <laughs> Babide was forced to go on a three month leave in May this year to allow investigations into alleged abuse of office. However, what was supposed to be a triumphant return turned into chaos as her vice president and acting president, Brigadier Flavia Bekwaso, refused to hand over office and instead used the Uganda police to throw Abide out of office. Let her come inside. Yes. She closed her office. Her office has been, uh, chaos has been locked. No one, yes, let her get out. Because that's what she wants. After intervention by a high-ranking government official, Bekwaso withdrew with the police and allowed Babide in. I called General Tafire because I saw police storming, over 20 people storming our offices and pushing people out and telling all of us to get out. It was a shock to me. You know, I'm, I'm only seeing uh, some, uh, some high level of, uh, maybe I can say in this plane, because we have a directive by the First Lady. And I think uh, under normal circumstances, Someone should not just put it away because me, I'm counting my days. My days are this. Meanwhile, the ship cranes will fly to Cape Town tomorrow for the Netball World Cup. A delegation of 21, including 15 players and six officials, was today flagged off by the State Minister of Sports, Peter Ogwang. The Vitality Netball World Cup will throw off next Friday. Regina Naluja, NTV Sport. Cranes for the World Cup South Africa.